Hello everyone, welcome to Parametric Planet. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can connect Python uh, with Sophistic CDB file. If you just Google it, Python Sophistic Connection, or if you go to the help documentation of Sophistic, you will find this link, Python CDB interfaces. And under that link, you will find all the required information which you actually need to set up the connection between Sophistic and your CDB file. Luckily, Sophistic provides us with all the information, including the Python code, which you just need to copy and paste into your Jupyter notebook. And you need to make some changes according to your system requirements. After you make those changes, you will be able to access your CDB file, and then you can extract every information uh, which is available in that CDB file. It could be your analysis information or your model information. So on this page, uh, it's the helping documentation from Sophistic 2024. If uh, you go to this Python link, then uh, you will find this information, uh, how to configure the project, how to set up the DL function, how to set up the environmental variable path, which is very necessary to access the CDB file. And then you will also find some examples which Sophistic has provided in which they show you how you can uh, connect to CDB and then how to read the nodes and how to decode and encode the data. For this tutorial, I will just go through this part, configure the project, how you can set up the DLL functions, how you set up the environmental variables, which uh, things you need to uh, check. And then I will create my own CDB file and then I will access that CDB file using this Python code. And I will show you how you can extract the nodes, how you can extract the beam information and how you can extract the beam forces. So let's go through this information one by one. On this page, you will find the information how to set up DLL functions and how to set up environment variable path. Uh, it is very necessary that you should first define your environment variable path and then you should set up your DLL functions. Another thing uh, you need to check which version of Python you are using. If you are using Python 3.7 or the previous version, then this is the way how you have to set up uh, your environment variable path. And if you are using Python 3.8 or a later version, then you have to use these two lines to set up your um, environment variable path. The things, uh, you need to change is this path. This should be according to your uh, Sophistic install directory. So if I show you, so in my case, this should be C program file Sophistic uh, 2024 uh, slash interfaces and 64. This should be the path. And you should also check uh, where you have installed your Sophistic. And then you have to replace this one with that path here and here also. And similarly, if you are using 3.8 version or the later version, then uh, you have to uh, replace uh, this path here also. It's better, in my opinion, to check this example, connect to CDB, because in here they have provided the uh, detailed example and the detailed code, and they have defined everything in sequence, so you don't need to uh, check or worry with things I have to define first. You just need to copy this one. And this one, if you see, they have uh, first defined the environment variable path, and then uh, they have uh, um, defined this path to get the DLLs from Sophistic folder. If you are using uh, 3.7, uh, you just need to copy this. And if you are using 3.8, then you just need to copy these lines from here till here. That's how um, you have to set up your environmental variable path and uh, set up your DLL functions. One more thing you need to change, and that is the CDB path. Uh, if you go down here, uh, whether in this 3.7 core or in 3.8, here we have to provide this CDB file path. This is the default ones. Uh, yes, you have to replace this one with the current file location where you have placed your 
CDB file. And if this uh, path is wrong, then uh, this code will generate a dummy CDB file uh, based on this uh, value 99. If you come here on the top, uh, you can check here. They have already mentioned here uh, on this documentation. Please specify this CDB path. Uh, if CDB file does not exist, then it will be created because of this value. So if you are not getting the results or your CDB file is not connected, then there might be your CDB path is wrong or this uh, DLL path is wrong or you are choosing the wrong DLLs or your environmental uh, variable path is wrong. So you have to check all these things. Uh, these paths are very important. So after doing these changes, you will be able to connect to your CDB file through this Python code.